Hi everyone. My name is Sukanya and I'm an international student from Mumbai, India. I'll be graduating in about a week and I thought I'd share my story with those of you who might be at an exciting point of change in your lives too. So, here's my version of my life at the world. August 2015. My twin sister Shambhavi and I arrived at O'Hare International Airport with our father heaving a cart of at least 6 suitcases behind us. Both of us were nervous to say the least. Why on earth had we left our home and traveled all 8023 miles to study at a small midwestern college that was 2 hours away from a major city? Well, let's just say that this is something that I smile at with pride now. Freshman year was a roller coaster of emotions and experiences. Feeling the nerves kicking during new student days and first year orientations, meeting new faces from all across the states and all corners of the world, receiving keys to my very own dorm room for the first time in my life. I savored it all. I lived in Chapin for my first two years at Beloit, right above Commons, the dining hall I would often go eat at in my pajamas. I remember how much fun it was flaunting my shiny new ID card and swiping into a selection of salads, cereals, hot meals, pizzas, pastas, juices, tea, soda, coffee, cookies and other yummy desserts. My homesickness, it disappeared rather quickly. I began to make friends almost everywhere. While running to class, dodging the squirrels and the sacred mounds, or studying at Java Joint with a late night coffee, or chatting across the cubicles at the library a day before a quiz, or dancing at the crazy frat parties to their crazy good music, or bumping into classmates in the science center first thing in the morning. Freshman year was a ride indeed. My classes were a mix of different individuals from strikingly different backgrounds across all walks of life. Yet each one of us was united through our love for asking interesting questions and learning together. Despite all the international calls and the distance away from my friends and family at home and constantly craving my mom's home cooked food, I knew that I was already carving out a place for myself here. The first snowfall on campus arrived in November. It involved a massive snow fight across the Greek houses. I remember witnessing the bell run for the first time that night and I also remember appreciating the close-knit community we had all become. By the end of the semester, there was also an unspoken eagerness among all of us to go out of our way and grab opportunities as students of a small campus. I remember what it meant to grow and I recognize that I only grew because of the special place and its special people. It wasn't long before I began to explore my multifaceted goals. I worked as a teaching assistant for math and econ classes while juggling roles of resident assistant, YouTube music artist and aspiring graphic novelist. I soon began to work as a data analyst at the Development and Alumni Relations Office and as senior manager of Bellmark Associates, where I was able to lead market research and consultancy for two companies. With my passion for innovation and entrepreneurship, I went on to write a journal offering 20 sketches of non-electric tools to improve human lives. Today, I'm graduating from Beloit to pursue a master's degree in economics at Tufts University. I hope that someday I'll be able to open an art startup in India. <sighs> It's been an absolutely exhilarating ride, and here's what I'm going to say. At Beloit, our squirrels run across the sidewalks with our rabbits. Bikes race with funky skateboards. Athletes enjoy a dip in the pool after a cold day of snow and projects. Math majors discover archaeological caves in their field classes. Students learn to teach and faculty learn to adapt. We are unique. So cherish your values and seek your dreams and conquer your challenges. And I'm sure it's going to be an exhilarating ride for you too.